Yo, what is happening, little lizards? It's your boy Lemon After Patrick back at it again. And today, I am doing one of the most highly requested videos I have ever gotten on my channel. And that is going to be doing a room tour. Now, when I do room tours, I typically don't record with my phone, but because I don't have an external camera, I kind of have to. But this is going to be what the room is going to look like for 2020. So hopefully you guys enjoy. So first things first in this room, it's basically my bedroom. So I got my bed in here, but over there is the setup. Um, the only thing I'm truly missing from the setup that I really need to get is one studio lights and two, the green screen. I think that's the only two things that I really want left, but for now it's not that bad and it's not that big of a deal. So that's kind of the setup. I'll get into that in a minute. Um, up here, I got the strip lights above my closet and they go kind of all the way around the back side of the setup so when you're on camera if i go over here to the computer uh let me load up logitech um i do want to get a better comp uh, camera as well but for now logitech does the job pretty well um so one of the many things that i tend to do is lack lighting in my videos and in this room alone uh it's one of the worst as far as it and when I'm uploading videos to YouTube, I notice that my camera quality doesn't pick up the light in my room that well, so I invested in uh, brighter strip lights to go in the background, and it just adds that like extra effect in the back. So if I were to show you what it would look like on stream now, um, I'll go ahead and point you towards the camera, and I'll go ahead and look at the camera over there. So this is how I technically record my videos when I'm doing face cams or even gameplays. Uh, what I'll do is I'll technically record it from the camera right here. So I'll record it to this. It'll save to a separate folder folder on my um, computer. And um, the Elgato will record from the Xbox, from the TV, to the Xbox, to the Elgato, you know, the drill, to the Elgato software. So the camera is picking me up right now. As soon as it loads, uh, it's not going to load that fast because of the rendering that's going on in the background for a new video that I have coming out soon. But... As you'll see in the background how the lights will change in the back that adds a very cool effect to the video if it'll ever fucking load so there you go so obviously now i'm looking at the camera because i'm talking directly to you guys uh and i'm not facing that way with the camera but typically when i'm recording i have this uh, strip light effect going on in the background and it adds a really cool effect to the videos i think i've only done it one other time and that was with the outlast series so obviously i think it's cool to bring it back so obviously here's the remote so I can just mess around with it. So I think these are really cool to have. So if I wanted to maybe just switch it to red or green, for example, hold on, let me, it's really hard to multitask. So if I wanted to switch it to blue, I don't know, blue is kind of like bad for the camera. Uh, well, there's white, white's pretty good for the camera. You can go lighter red or like orange, gr lighter green, lighter blue, more of a pinkish color. I like the pink, the pink looks nice in the room. Um, so yeah, you can do all that kind of stuff, but I'm gonna throw it back on a fade. So obviously it adds like multiple different diverse colors to the room. And obviously it just goes well with the keyboard because the keyboard fades in and out like that as well. And so does my football head. So obviously you got the Xbox there. You got like 1400 controllers. <laughs> obviously I got the speaker set up going on in the back. Those are subwoofers. So every time I'm not either listening to my AirPods or I'm not recording and I'm just trying to listen to music, that's what those are for and got a bunch of other stuff that i have like over here you got my whole like <laughs> stylus effect stuff going on like all my freaking 17,000 hats uh all my cologne my sunglasses and all that uh the tv um i want to get a smaller one uh because this one kind of takes up a lot of room and i kind of wanted to go for a dual monitor setup but until i get more money <laughs> until and also once i get my own place that's probably a goal for that but I kind of want to do something like kind of right here where I'm standing. It's I want to throw like a green screen kind of right here that cuts off the part of the bed and kind of goes to like right there because my room's not the cleanest right now. But what I want to do is I want a chroma key for the background of my uh, setup because I think adding the chroma key to a video just adds a lot more and it takes less away from the actual gameplay that I'm trying to do. So that'll also get me to do more face cams in the future. So um besides that there's not much i mean you got all the games down there more games in here school stuff you know uh besides that though there's not much i mean i typically don't have the most baller setup i mean at the end of the day i mean i'm only 18 <laughs> so i hope you guys uh 
kind of like this room. I mean, it's nothing special, personally, I don't think. Uh, personally, I like the setup that I have. I used to have the other one in the room next door. Uh, I was going to do a room tour of that, but obviously now it's just not the best timing. Am I still recording? Okay. So, I, I think what I want to do, though, is I kind of want to give you guys... A bit of a updated tour within the next couple years by the way i can see myself on the uh, camera over there twice so what i want to do in the future is just kind of go more heavy based with the studio vibe because obviously over here what i want to do is i want to put studio lighting behind the kind of computer to give it more of a um a better lighting system because the uh, strip lights don't give me the best lighting in the, in the room but they do give me a pretty decent background effect because i like that the way they fade and it just blends well and it gives me a lot more light and i i don't know how you guys feel about it but i like them personally and i think that added effect just really looks cool so i mean besides that that's really it i mean i don't really have much else for my setup uh, I plan to add more, and eventually I might do an updated version. So anyway, if you guys enjoyed this little vlog type of video, then remember to support by clicking that like button. And if you're new to the channel, remember to support by fighting the subscribe button. Jeez, that was a freaking tongue twister. But anyway, my name is Lemon After, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye-bye.